Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to find out if the Land Rover market really is as down as uh, we've all been saying it is. I've got my eye on a Range Rover Sport and it's a bit of an oddball, slightly higher mileage. This is much riskier than I normally like to buy, but my dad's got it in his head that he would like a Range Rover product of some sort of this era. And so would I, I mean this would be my dream car really, but it does seem risky, but we're going to go for it, we're going to see what we can do. What we've got is a 2014 Land Rover Sport. It's a three litre TD V6. It's the D300, that makes it. It's an SE spec, but it's an import, strangely. So it's not giving us a cap price on here um, from Cap HPI. But I have looked on Auto Trader and it's telling us that the retail rating for this car, the retail valuation is 16,667. And the part exchange valuation is £9,500. They always are low on a Land Rover product like this because they're so risky. But the fact that it's being imported, the fact that it's on 97,000 miles, is it going to put a lot of people off? It sort of says spec model year as seen because they're not saying what it is. It has got service history for being main dealer. It's got MIT until November this year. It's black on black wheels. I mean, I think it looks good. Very kind of gangster drug dealer. My dad won't like it, he doesn't like black cars. So I don't know why I'm buying this with him in mind. I'm just using that as an excuse, really. But we'll see what it goes for. Will it go for that sort of nine and a half, ten thousand pound-ish mark because the market's so down, or are a lot of people gonna see this as value and will they bid? What makes it worthwhile buying? If it's sixteen thousand out, I don't think I really want to go more than about eleven thousand pounds on it to leave a nice big margin to worst case scenario, put an engine in it if you had to. Come and have a look, I'll show you it. So, here it is, looking lovely. I think it's not perfect. They're probably gonna highlight a few potential bits and pieces of it, but look at that interior. I love that leather interior. Toby's making air sucking noises. I guess that's good news. That's quite cool, just because it's a bit different. I like that. Um, you can see that it's at Perry Bar, Birmingham, BCA. Auto, obviously. Minor marks there. You'd expect that on a hundred thousand mile car, wouldn't you? Oh, they've been hitting it on a boot or something on a on a roof or a garage door there. Look, that's annoying. But you know, worst case scenario, you get that painted up. A little bit of damage there. Usually, if they're pointing out little imperfections like this as some of the worst things, then you know you're not doing too badly. Obviously, a bit of chip in the screen. A bit of a touch up done on a stone chip there. Um, but. Panoramic roof, look at that. That is a lot of car for the money, even at the £16,000 retail valuation. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm hoping we can get a bargain here, but it will all come down to what's happening in the day. I was just watching here, because we can watch these auctions going through live, and it seems like this is a fleet sale, um, which may mean it was, how many owners does it say it's got? It's got two keys, five owners, if it's a fleet sale, maybe it belonged to a business or something like that. And some of the other Range Rover stuff, bear in mind it was a Land Rover, what was it? A Discovery Sport I just watched go through, a newer one, and that was about £5,000 under book, but it did have an engine management like warning thing on. Um, have a look at our essential report on this actually. So it says everything is okay, we've even got good tyres, the only thing is the near side wing mirror, glass adjustment isn't working. I'm sure you can figure that out or live with it. We are two lots away. We'll find out in a second how much this car goes for. Shifting metal mugs now available on shiftingmetal.co.uk. One thing I have done before actually deciding I'm gonna bid on this is I did do a vehicle score check. I did the vehicle ultimate report, um, which was only £9.58 using my code Shifting Metal 20 because I wanted a check that didn't have a bit of a shady history in a different country before it got imported. Uh, just wanted to make sure that I was happy with that. Luckily, it's proven that it was all okay. Um, so spending £9.58 is well worth doing. So if you want to do that, check out the link in the description and make sure you use the code Shifting Metal 20. Right, we are one lot away. It's the next one coming through. So let's make sure we got our sound sorted. See, even this Volkswagen stuff that should be good news seems to be going quite far under book. Seems to have lost sound. He might be talking to 
like the vendor, they sometimes have them on the line. So do you want to sell it for that much or do you not? Place your bets now, where's the bidding going to start? I reckon under 10 grand. It might, for all I know, it might start at 15 grand and I'll just turn the computer off now and you'll never see this footage because it would be a complete waste of my time. <laughs> right, here we go. It's an import. Yeah, import. Yeah, Hopefully that's going to scare some people off. Oh, bloody hell. 11.3, It's not as bad as they make out then, is it? You would have thought being an import that would put a lot of people off. We'll figure out, we'll see what it goes for and we'll figure out what that would mean margin-wise. There's some ballsy bidders out there. Still bloody cheap to think about it. So what was it, 12,250? I mean, if it wasn't black, I would still bid on that for my dad, but he doesn't really want a black one, to be honest. Uh, uh, 12,250, let's say it's going to be about 400 to 500, let's say 500 pounds worth of fees. 12,750, you're probably going to want to spend at least, mm, I don't know, if you want to prep that properly, 500 to 1,000 pounds. So let's say it's 13,500 you've spent on it. Minus what you can get for it, which realistically, 16.6 or whatever. You've still got a, a three grand margin in it, but I have more margin in that Audi A5 I bought at auction the other day at G3 than you do in that. So that being black on black on black probably helps, and the interesting interior probably helped it. But I am shocked, really. Maybe it's the older ones are still doing quite well because they look such value now. The newer ones, sort of 15, 16, 17, 18 plates going onwards, have really dropped in value. Bizarre. That went for more than I thought. I thought it would start under 10, and I might have got it for 10 and a half or 11. So, yeah, three grand margin in that is not enough to take the risk, I don't think. But there you have it. Obviously, the uh, Range Rover, Land Rover market isn't as bad as they make out, and not in every case anyway. The search continues. Hopefully you'll see me buy another one in another video soon. Thanks so much for watching, very quick video. We'll see you next time. Right, that was the end of the video, but look what's back. It's a couple of days later and this Range Rover's going through again. Now, usually that's not a good sign. Could mean that someone's rejected it. Perhaps they said they, I don't know, found a problem with it when they went to go collect it. But it's actually quite quick. So, it's more likely that someone has then said, oh, no, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't realise it was imported or something stupid. I had they could miss that because the guy was like, imported, 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 imported. Import, 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 import. Maybe, maybe BCA were just running up the bids and ended up being stuck with them, so they've had to redo it. I'm sure they don't do that. In fact, I think they, I think they, they admit that they do run up bids to get to reserve. Who knows? Be interesting to see what it goes for. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it was provisional when it didn't make uh, the selling price. I can't remember. I don't see if Toby remembers. I thought it had sold. In the interest of transparency, we ought to see what happens again. Considering we're saying the prices are going back up, I mean that seems to be to me how it seems to be going. These Range Rover prices are going back up because I'm now in the market to buy one for my dad, and they're not as weak as they were. So. so eight locks away. We'll see what it does this time round. So it, stuff seems to be going quite cheap. Here's ours. Other stuff's going under book. It went for 12 something last time, didn't it? It's more sensible. It's getting up there again, not quite as much this time.
Provisional again. I think I'm pretty sure that said provisional. Now the reason it probably went cheaper second time round is most dealers, I like me, they're on here pretty much every day trying to buy stock because it's not easy. You'd think it's really easy. Every day there are thousands of cars going through all the different auctions and you just just pick the ones you want and buy them, but it's not as simple as that. You're competing against everyone else to try and get the best stuff. If you see a car come around for the second time, you're very wary, like I said before. And is there a reason that someone turned up and looked at it and said, this is completely not as described, I don't want it? Don't know, maybe it just went through provisional and they didn't accept it. That means if they didn't accept it at 12.3 the last time, they're probably not gonna accept it at 11.7. So, um, hmm, started out by saying prices are definitely on the up again, but are they? Or are seller expectations on the up and buyer kind of commitment not as much? I don't know. You have to make up your own mind. You have to have a debate in the comments. I still think the prices in general are going up with these Range Rivers again. Toby, is, you know, is quite proudly telling me that on our way back from BCA Nottingham, he did say maybe now is the time to buy them. It's incredible that he had that original thought because... I did a video before on the market of uh, Range Rovers and said they were down. I said, maybe now's the time to buy them. So we both had an original idea. Toby definitely didn't edit that video and hear it there and then subconsciously come out of it at a later date. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, if you want one, now could be the time. I mean, pre probably like a couple of months ago would have been the time but you can't go back in time. Unless you know how to go back in time, then call me because I'd find that very useful. So yeah, I think they're going, I think they're on the app. But let me know what you think in the comments and we will have a fight about it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Loads of videos like this. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.